Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today has appeared in the hit series Seinfeld, Sybil, and Friends. She took time off from acting to get a master's degree in social work. Upon graduation, she booked the role of Denise in the new ABC series Big Sky by David E. Kelly. Please welcome Dee Dee Pfeiffer. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Dee Dee? Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm doing great, Cass. Thank you for having me. Okay, so listen, I just got to tell you, I started the show and I'm hooked. I'm just at the edge of my seat every week, or actually I shouldn't say every week. I, I, I had the, uh, I was fortunate enough to cheat because I have Hulu. So, and I honestly don't know what I would have done if I didn't have <laughs> these all to binge. The first season, boom, boom, boom. So anyway, it's so well written. I love your character. I love the cast. What's this experience been like for you? Thank you. Well, I'm glad that you're a fan. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, Big Sky is, is like a wild ride. I always describe it like buckle up, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. I love the way the pilot, which for those who haven't seen it, sets up that nobody's safe on the show. And you don't ever know what's gonna happen. And you, even if you think they might get killed, you don't know by who and how. So it's still like, what's happening? So um, it's a great binge show. I've never binged really that much, but my kids do. Or old fashioned, you can wait every week until it comes. So you have something to look forward to. Um, it's been great. We've been in Canada filming. We, I just got back. We just wrapped the first season. So there's lots of new ones coming down the pike for you guys, including tonight, Tuesday night, ABC. <laughs> when I saw the trailer, like you said, it's no one's safe, but you don't know what it is. And you watch the pilot and you're like, whoa, where's this going? And then you, right when you think there's going to be some closure, it's like, nope, they roped into the next episode. And then you're like, okay, I got to stay tuned. Boom, boom. And then finally, when you think one thing's resolved, it's like, okay, something else. It's just, it's keeping me at the edge of my seats. And I'm just, I'm so tuned in. Now I'm, I'm caught up. So now I have to wait a little bit, wait every week now. Seriously, like I'm just so honored and proud to be in with this amazing cast. The first, you know, chunk of this first season with all the girls and the uh, sex trafficking. And now with the Klein authors with this really messed up, dark, dysfunctional family. Yeah, that's the thing. Looks may be deceiving. That's everyone's personable. And then there's all these dark secrets. Yeah, and goes, yeah. I mean, you were on a roll. You were appearing in hit series. You, you had mentioned you didn't like the direction or a lot of stuff that you were going out for. And you decided to uh, take a break from the industry. You got your master's degree from UCLA in social work. And upon graduation, you get a text from David E. Kelly. There's a role for you on this show. There's so many rich characters, strong female leads, diversity. This is just seems like a dream job and everything that you were putting out in the universe. You know, Cassie and I talked about that before the interview because that is so true. It's like 10 years ago, I had been working 30 plus years and I just kind of felt like I was really loyal to the industry. And I didn't really quite feel that it was being so loyal to me back as an aging woman. I saw a lot of the roles just decrease and men were getting all fat and gray and wrinkly and sexier and I'm like how did that work because when I was getting fatter and wrinklier and you know I was getting more unemployed so um and I'm raising two boys on my own so I just didn't I thought what kind of message am I sending my boys and I also really care about social welfare issues always trying to save the world in some way I just really is about animals and people and their welfare so 10 years ago I decided you know I'm gonna um go up to, I walked up to community college and I just said hey um, I want to get one of those things called a degree. And they're like, okay, well, which one? I go, I don't know. You tell me. And they're like, that's not how it works. You tell me. And I go, well, I want to help people. And they go, how about a psych degree? I said, okay. And that's how it started. I had not a clue what I was doing. Never went to college. I'm in my forties. I graduated in 82. Do the math. No cell phones, no computers, no thesis statement. I didn't know anything, like anything. I was less than a fifth grader, less than a second grader. So um, my journey was 10 years long. And in there, I took a year off to get sober. I want to add that. Ms. Pfeiffer is in recovery, almost three years sober. Alcohol Congratulations. Thank you. And I want to just do that to anybody out there struggling, man. It's okay. I'm here to tell you, you can do it <laughs> and get through a pandemic as well. So my journey was huge. And then, like you said, I'm in my master's, my last year at UCLA, my master's of social work. I already got my bachelor's of psych. Pretty broke at this point, right? With all the student loans and surviving. And I didn't know how I was going to survive with two boys on a social worker's income in LA. And then I get a text from David, my brother-in-law, who never calls me, never texts me. I see him at Christmas and Thanksgiving. We go fishing. I love him. He loves me. But we never talk shop, never talk business. Our family's weird that way. We just don't. And we talk about other things that are more interesting. And he said, hey, what are you doing? I'm not sure if you're still acting or not, but I have a, a role for you, I think, on Big Sky, this, this thing, the show that I'm doing, if you're interested. I, I almost dropped my phone. And I was like, he just threw me a lifeline. And that to me was like mother earth saying, hey, let's give this woman 
let's give this woman a little handout right now, all right? And then when I read the script with all these incredible women, I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? So it kind of all came full circle, all because I just kept my eye on the prize, which was, you know, trying to do good in the world. You know, always try to show my boys, this is what it looks like to have a value and support that value, making sure your behavior is in harmony with your behaviors and your values are in harmony. And that even means trying to help people and not know how you're going to survive. The universe somehow will figure it out and help you out if your heart's in the right place. And now I'm on Big Sky Acting again at 57, dude. Fifth, what? What 57 year old gets like employed out of nowhere when I've been like gone for 10 years, right? So, long story short, you're the dead mother, you're the mama bear. You've got these two incredible female leads who are detectives. They're stopping the bad guys. They're rescuing good people. They're doing the right thing. And this is really everything that you've been saying you're about and what you want to put out there. And one of the reasons why you got into social work. So when you think about it, you graduated and you had the perfect job available for you <laughs> right when you graduated. You know, I really did because I am one day going to take my degree and everything I learned, not only in the book learned in school and in my internships in the Department of Mental Health and working with the homeless in the encampments, in the field, but also my own sobriety and recovery and rehab. It's like, I want to bring all that together one day with my fan base and create some kind of great show to help people on a, on a larger level than just one-on-one -on -one clinical. Um, but right now I got to do big sky and you're right. I'm bringing a lot of my clinical skills to Denise, which is really fun. She is kind of like the den mom. She is like the safe place for the girls who go out, like you said, and get into lots of trouble. Let's just say that. So that's, that's a word you can use. They get into a lot of trouble. The girls get into a lot of trouble and you're the, you're the balance. The you're the mother always, figure. Meeting all these crazy characters that have all these like demons or secrets and you just never know around any corner. And when they come back to Duel and Hoy, remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> we try to bring a, Denise is definitely funny and a bit of a smart ass too I see a lot of you in that character after I mean I know we just met a few minutes ago I'm honored to have you on the show you got this fire about you that you really bring to Denise thank you when David said I think I have this great role for this perfect for you he wasn't joking like when I read Denise I went oh I get this girl I got her I go, I like her. Like, she's, she's a smart ass like me. She's mama bear like me. We actually have a clip from the series where Jenny asks your character, Denise, to look into Cole Danvers. Cole Danvers. That's all I got. Okay, give me a second. Any mention. Try searching with the client sensors. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, Cole Danvers. Uh, just a quick mention in the Twin Falls Register from about yeah, 15 years ago. Parents filed a missing persons report, but because he was an adult, the case was dropped. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me what this is about? Yeah. Chiang Clancester gave it to me. Oh, okay, well give me a few more hours and I'll do a more thorough search and I'll have it for you when you get back. You're coming back, aren't you? Tonight. In that clip, yes, you can see the mama bear and Denise, you can see that she cares and I think she's really good at what she does. You are an inspiration. You keep doing what you're doing and I am so proud of you. And just everyone else out there listening, I mean, listen to Dee Dee. You've had this success later in life. You overcame so many obstacles. It's never too late, never give up. Dee Dee is living proof that if you hang in there, you go at everything full force, the right things happen and you can put energy into the universe and the universe will respond. It's time for your close-up. Oh my hey, goodness. Hi. Hey. She's still getting used to my red hair. Uh -huh. When I left nine months ago, I was blonde and I came back red. And so she, she keeps going like, I, I know you don't like it, do you? Yeah, she's kind of like me, spiking it up occasionally. Yeah. I'm going to compete with that lion back there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, this, we have one of these that matches for Denise. If you look on the show, you will see Denise always has this in her hand. They gave it to me as a gift. I kept, I'm always with my copy, always, that it, it was always landing in the scene. So they had to match it. So they were like, oh, just get her double. And so she has one on the set and in real life because so, I'm always drinking coffee. And now she, she drinks coffee with me too, don't you? Oh. Are you going to talk? No? I don't know, coffee. What's going on? I think that for whatever it's worth, I totally get it that this has been a really bitch of a year for everybody for a lot of reasons, a lot of change, just a lot of stuff that's going on. And I just think if, if there's ever been a time to kind of come together in a positive light, this is the time that love, you know, is more powerful than hate and that we can get this, we can do this together. I mean, I have to believe in that. But otherwise, why wake up in the morning if the world's just going to be an ugly hate place with filled with so much more hate than love? Right? That's a, that's like, who wakes up to, who wants to wake up to that? She likes I'm with you. It's just acknowledging the past, taking what we've learned the past year and just really 
move forward. We we need to head head in a different direction now. And we have to do it together. Somehow. Together, unity together. Yes, you said it. Oh my gosh, Didi, this has been such a delight having you on today. Everyone, follow Didi Pfeiffer on Instagram. She's hilarious. She's fun, and she's so passionate. You can watch Big Sky Tuesday nights at ten o'clock p.m. Didi, I can't thank you enough for being here. It's just been so much fun having you on, and I look forward to see where the show goes. You're a doll, and it's Didi Pfeiffer official, and you will see lots of videos of her. Thank you so much for hanging with me and Didi Pfeiffer today. You are on air with Cash. And Pandora.